We want to know what's on your mind. Uh, Scott, are you there? You there, Scott? Yeah, mate. Okay, what do you want to talk about, Scott? Um, <laughs> it's getting around on Facebook a fair bit. I actually haven't heard you um, oh, bagging out Pauline Hanson or anything, because uh, I only listen to your show every now and then when I get a chance. Uh, uh, but, um, so you, have, you haven't heard, uh, heard me what, did you say? Uh, bagging out Pauline Hanson? No, you probably won't. Yeah, no, I haven't, I haven't heard anything, but a lot of people are saying on Facebook that you have been. Oh, really? um, at, I've got my own little gripe with her. Like, it's, like I, I agree with everything that, that she's saying about Islam. I'm um, one of the organisers of the Reclaim Australia rallies up in Brisbane. But um, what exactly is it that you disagree with her about when it comes to this topic? With, with Pauline? Oh, with I... Islam in general. Like uh, a lot of people are saying, like in, in the movement that I'm involved in, that um, you know, like, like that previous caller said, um, that you, what's his name, Cobb? Of the, yep, yep. Send you nasty emails. What, what, um, uh, what, what is it you're disagreeing with us about when it comes to Islam? Well, well, I'm disagreeing with who? With you? No, we've, um, like I said, I haven't heard you bagging out or defending Muslims as you were saying before, but um, we've got legitimate gripes and concerns about Islam. Okay, tell me what they are. Terrorism's my big one. A lot of people are concerned about the halal food, but. <laughs> That's oh, not really no, no. a big... Bloody, I mean, halal food, who the hell cares? It's just food. It's no different to any other food. Mm. Yeah, like that, that's not an issue for me. My big one is uh, terrorism. How many people seriously have to die before? Like, there's been over 28,000 Islamic terrorist atrocities in the last 15 years, mate. Like, worldwide. On the same uh, where, day... Hey, listen, out of interest, where are you getting this information? Off the internet? Easy, <laughs> Like... There's a website called uh, TheReligionOfPeace.com, right, and they've uh, reported, you know, they update their um, atrocity list every day. But ASIO's list is about two-thirds to three-quarters of that size. So the only difference is what, come, what they classify as a terrorist atrocity. For example, on the day of the um, Martin Place siege, do you know that there was actually 70 people killed in other Islamic terrorist atrocities around the world that you never heard anything about? Yes, I did know that. Yeah, <laughs> What is it like? How are we supposed to? Like, I know that a lot of people in the media. I've actually spoken to you before about a year ago, just um, it was actually prior to the Reclaim Australia rallies. How are we supposed to express our concerns? Look, you know, when, when, you, when, when, when you say Reclaim Australia, yeah. what, what, what the hell do you mean by it? Where, where's it gone? <laughs> yeah, no, I didn't come up with a buddy name. I've, I've always had, you know, we can't change. The okay, name all, all right. So, so it's called Reclaim Australia. You didn't come up with the name. I, well, I'm delighted to hear that. But what does Reclaim Australia uh, stand for? What does it into? Well, where's Where's Australia gone? Still here, isn't it? Yeah. What we're, my understanding is this: what we're trying to reclaim is the passage of information when it comes to this topic. We, we want to be able to express our concerns about the topic of Islam without being called a bloody racist or a bigot or a bloody yeah, well, Islamophobe. Okay, well I, well, I haven't stopped you. Go for your life. Say whatever you like. I don't stop people saying what they want to say. Okay, well, how's this? I mean, we're all, you know, wrapped up around the axles about our moderate Muslims. You know, there's nearly half a million here in Australia now and the overwhelming majority of them, you know, they don't, they don't want to hurt anybody. We know that. But what it all comes down to is... <laughs> The fact of the matter is, a lot of them do. We've had the Martin Place siege. We've had the 2012 riots. We've had that young native bloke down in um, Victoria stab the two cobbers. We've had the murder of Curtis Tank. I could go on and on and on. But okay, but, uh, okay, but, but, but hang, on, hang, on, hang on a minute. I'm not here to defend anybody. I have to say that every day because I'm not. I'm simply here to defend the truth. What about Martin Bryant? What about that oh, other cl what about that other clown who carries the rifle that uh, that killed people in the Bangalore State Forest, whose uh, yes. his name has slipped my mind at the moment? I wish he'd. They, yeah, uh, that, that's a good point. Did they do that in the name of a god? Did they do that in the name of Jesus? They did. No, they I, did. I, I, don't, I don't think they did. I think they did it in the name of insanity. Exactly. But these idiots, that, these Islamic terrorists, they're doing it because the Quran says to do it, and this is what one thing the media refuse to accept. Now, you can pick a verse out of the Quran or the Hadith. Yeah, or look, look, look like. mate, just hang on. I don't want you to have a heart attack there. The Quran doesn't say to do it. The Quran doesn't say any, any such thing. I mean, oh early, early editions of the... Are you serious? The, the big, I am serious, yeah. You're, you're 
you obviously haven't read it, John, there's over 109 direct verses in the Quran that order it. Have you, have, and that, that's not even including the Hadith. There's 109 verses in the Quran alone that order the persecution, subjugation and killing of non-believers. Okay, have you had a look at the Bible, eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth? I mean, the, 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 these, the, these things were written centuries ago and the attitude of the world hopefully has changed dramatically uh, in, okay, in, in, in that time. But the, Can you show me one direct... You show me one order from the Bible where Jesus, not in the Old Testament, where Jesus in the New Testament says for us to kill non-believe, non-Christians. No, because I'm not that familiar with the Bible. I don't know that he well, ever I said that. I've studied, I've studied the Bible and I've, studied, um, and I've researched the Quran for 10 years. I, I served over in Iraq. I was, I was in the army for 11 years. Okay, what do you do now out of interest? I own my own small business. Do, doing yeah. what? Uh, but I've got a lot of um, a lot of people know me in this movement. I don't want to uh, say what I, what it is over the radio because um, I'll get bombarded. <laughs> I see. Well, they'll probably recognise your voice anyway. Yeah, they but know the, who but, I am. I'm all over the internet. Yeah, but, um, but the the Quran doesn't say to get round killing people. Have you ever been into a mosque? Yes, I have. Over in Iraq, several times. Uh-huh. My um my brother-in-law is actually an immigrant from Iraq and he's a Christian and he could go on like he, the reason I actually first got involved in this is actually because of my brother-in-law. Yeah. Anyway, I I agree with you that there are plenty of badly behaved Muslims. There's little doubt of that, and they can be very subversive. And if they're extremists, they are uh, they are a real problem. I, I you don't have any argument with uh, with me about that. But you've got to be a bit careful because there are extremists in all walks of life. That's right. But what we're trying to get the media to acknowledge is like what you were saying about the Bible and all that. It's it's very true that anybody can pick a verse out of the Bible or the Quran and, and interpret it any way they see fit to that's, that's right. suit their psychotic mindset. That's a, well, they, 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 they don't have to be psychotic. I mean, you can you can read whatever you like uh, to read into into things. Everybody's entitled to have their own point of view of a particular writing. Yeah, but this is one thing that you can't do. You can't misinterpret the life and the example of the person that actually started the religion. Now, Muhammad, as you may very well know, he married a six-year-old child. Oh, yes. He sat back while his men beheaded 800 people from the Jewish tribe of uh, Banu Quraysh in a single day, and he started over 60 years. Yes, wars. look, look I, I'm not crying the praises of uh, Muhammad, far from it. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't cry the praises of Muhammad. But nonetheless, people are entitled to have whatever beliefs they want. That's one of the reasons we call this place a democracy. You can have whatever beliefs you want, providing you're not breaking the law, and these people who believe in all sorts of strange things, uh, some extreme Muslim people believe in all sorts of amazing things, they can still have their beliefs. That's uh, why we have what is known as a democracy. You can have your beliefs. If this belief that people are allowed to have involves the overthrow of a nation, are they allowed to have that? Yeah. It's a political ideology, mate. It's not just a religion. Well, it, it, it might be a combination of uh, the two. You can't tell me that the Catholic religion hasn't been involved in politics. <laughs> no, I can't. Sorry, I'm not a Catholic, so... No, well, you can't. There's no way in the world you can. All right, Scott, do you want Thanks to call another day? Anyway. Big pardon? Thanks for taking my call anyway. OK, any time you, you want to call, you can call. Thanks very much. I appreciate you giving me a fair go too. All right, Scott, that's OK. I'd like to give everybody a fair go. If I could sometimes... Uh, I probably don't, but then again, I'm human. Yeah, I hate to let you down, I'm human.